On the 11th of May 2023, the BBC's disinformation team, headed by Mariana Spring, conducted a joint interview with Darren Nesbitt, creator and editor of The Light Paper. The intentions of Spring and the BBC were to try and falsely associate The Light Paper with spreading hate violence and anti-Semitism. In this video, we take a rare behind the scenes look at what it's actually like working with a young team of BBC employees, um, I mean smiling assassins. Join us in the Den of Vipers. So we're testing all the video camera set up for Daz's interview with Mariana Spring. Hiya, it's Daz. Um, well, Spring's utilising the propaganda technique of othering. She's trying to cast people as subhuman trolls and by association applying the same dehumanising propaganda label to anyone who shares the concerns about official accounts of events. Othering is an applied psychological strategy widely used by authoritarian political regimes. Almost 2 million people stopped paying the BBC licence fee last year, so you, you would assume that's of 2021. Do you want to have both on the bench, do you think? I think so. Yeah. Um, is that alright with you, Darren? Sure, like yeah, as long as I can do that, yeah. So you've been like... My party pants. My party pants. Yeah. These, are my, these are my nice clothes. I'm sorry. I don't like having out No! Sorry. Well, to be honest with you, it's not for me, it's to show uh, Mariana. Have you got a... Just just test 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 test. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. How high? Yeah. And is this all your kit as well? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Sarah, yeah. would you mind giving me a count to ten just so I can check your levels? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very musical. How does that sound? I'm used to doing that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can stick right. your... No, no. <laughs> Uh, Mariana, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. I feel like you so rarely get to have pa actual paper. No, you read them anymore, anymore, do they? Make sure the front page does the same thing as you guys, in case they don't open it. Headline, right? Nobody reads the rest of it. Although, actually, interestingly, we find quite a lot that audiences either engage with stuff super quickly or actually longer form stuff. One more quick check in the mm -hmm. mic from Mariana, please. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We're good. Hello there, how are you doing? It's been a very rainy day here in Leek, but we're getting ready for the uh, media handicap. What's the media handicap? Of today's horse race. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not that quick and witty. Like, <laughs> I'd be on stage doing comedy, not music. <laughs> so unusual to have two sets of kit. Well, it's two, two interviews at once yeah. as well. Yeah. I am rolling on both of these. Are you rolling, Phil? Uh, yeah, we're all good. All right, I'm just going to give us a clap for us. Great, ready. Um, do you want me to start, or do you want to start? What would you prefer? Um, well, I'll ask the first question. Yeah, go so, for it. how you doing, Mariana Spring? Thanks for uh, coming down to interview with us today for the white paper. Thank you. That, that's Thank a you. piece of uh, serious investigative journalism. If you're, you're true to your word, you would look at that. Um, yeah, obviously, I always look at everything people give me, um, and I always read it and interrogate it, so I will. It's Thank quite, you. it's quite scary. What are you working on? Uh, there's just, um, uh, if you're hungry, there's, there's, there's the money that we didn't spend on the, on the, on the buffet. Oh, I feel bad that you paid yeah. for it. We're happy to pay um, for the location. We didn't, um, no, it's okay. Because um, we definitely can. We, like, we can pay for it from our budget. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. It's not expensive. All I'm saying is we've got free food. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want if you want to eat downstairs, just tell. We have got to get the train otherwise we have to get the expensive. Oh you're on the train? Like, yeah, we're oh, getting the, we Phil's driving back to Manchester. Oh I see, we're right. Get, we're getting the train. Oh, okay. So if you don't get it before rush hour, you have to pay that really expensive one or then you have to get the late yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And we quite want to not do that. The previous issue before. What? A late uh, uh, no, but we're really careful about money like actually. Yeah, we're really it's so expensive. It's so expensive. 
and this will be um, it will be coming out in June. Okay. The podcast. Are you? Are you um, we'll let you know when it's. Yeah, is, it, is, it, is it just the podcast then? Or so it'll be the right, ten part right. podcast series, which is for Radio Four and BBC Sounds, and then there's a Digi Doc um, that Olivia's editing oh, that's for BBC Out right there. Yeah, and then there'll also be like a write up that I do for online. Okay. Um, and various other bits and pieces. Well. When's your next edition of the Light? Is it this one? No, we just yeah we just published, so we'll go up next month. Next month. Yeah. 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 So. I was, I was going to say, if you, if you give us an address, we'll send you one. I'm sure you've got, got some subscriber in the office, right? Yeah, well, I'd like to subscribe it. Eh? Um, I don't know if we have a like subscriber at the BBC, yeah. but we can definitely, we definitely would, would like a copy. Yeah, so if you send, send us an address to send it to Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. From, from the question, yeah. yeah. the light paper as incited violence? No, I think the thing that I'm interested in, which I was asking, is. Um, you know, there are, I mean, I don't want to repeat the interview again, but there are um, examples of people who have promoted hateful ideas or who have um, promoted anti-Semitism or who have um, incited violence in other ways not, no. who are featured. And it's important when you're doing an accountability interview to ask those questions because ultimately some of the research that we'd see suggested that there are some people who think violence is justified and that's an important you know, question for us to interrogate. Um, but obviously we've talked about a whole range of different things. So, you know, we're not just going to focus on one one particular thing, we'll focus on various things that we have talked about. But what we're understanding ultimately throughout the podcast is how the movement has evolved and changed since the pandemic because for a lot of people they're quite surprised that the light still exists or that the movement still exists or that rallies still happen and so it's about understanding why that is still happening and the consequences. What are we protesting against now? Yeah, essentially, I mean people are interested in why are people protesting in their towns, why yeah. is this happening, the impact it's having on them um, and the impact that it does have on them. You know, just that's kind of how it works we just understand it's, it's really interesting isn't it from a kind of point of view when there's not that many local newspapers that are doing that well or papers that are doing yeah, that well yeah, you know, and, the, and, and then kind of yours is one that is well. yeah it's just really interesting I mean, it might, it might be because because the people that support it paid for it, so it's yeah. free at the other end. Yeah. Although, yeah. I mean, you'd say the metric. Twenty thousand pounds is expensive. Metric, not sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, you got it, Anna! Right yeah. Real, 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 real. There's a real Bill Hunt spirit about yeah. people who, who've woken because your guys' reach and influence, and you're part of a bigger ecosystem, is, 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 is wow. incredible. You know? And until you, until you go, yeah, I realise that that is all complete propaganda information, they're going to believe what you tell them. That's why we're so concerned. That's why everything you say, you know, you're doing hate, you're, you're, the, 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 the disinformation that you put out may cause harms. We are, you know, obviously concerned that they've got the disinformation you guys put out causing harms, which is why we exist. But it's yeah. nice that we can actually have a civil conversation about it. Yeah, yeah I always like having a conversation. I think it's really important. Um, I was just going to ask about the t-shirt. Do you find like, uh, are they popular, the t-shirts? That one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but people, the that one's gone on to mugs and all sorts. Oh, Has yeah. it? Yeah. I, mean, there's, there's I can imagine people buying exempt from bullshit. Uh, like, everyone would buy that in some different yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we found Ross in there. Yeah. That's, That's a good idea. Except no shit. See, you can even let them know yeah. yeah. And does that help fund the paper? The like, do you oh, use no, some of that? No, the merch. Yeah, exactly. It, it funds me. We don't sell the music. The merch is tight. Is it your main job and then the music? Yeah, uh, I've got several. Yeah, just online online things. But yeah, yeah. all to do with truth. Then apart from the guitar strings, yeah. I have a guitar which is your well. yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> everything I forgot to ask, which I imagine is the case, but. When you were saying you know it can cost twenty grand to make the paper or whatever, do you ever profit from the paper or is it that you kind of just make enough to keep it? Yeah, but whatever, whatever. Either, either if we do make an excess, it will go on window stickers and bags and yeah, birds yeah. and you know what have yeah, you. Yeah. Um, so it's not really like your salary. No, we we'll, we'll, no, no. we'll, uh, it gets adjusted obviously each month so we can do the maximum amount of paper. Yeah, because yeah. we want the maximum amount of truth out there. To... And because I've seen the circuit, sorry, I know I'm asking questions, but these are more like fact for, for us. <laughs> yeah. These are like factual questions. So we frame it. So we frame it right, right so I don't want to get it wrong. Um, in terms. Of about the number of copies a month because I'd seen I think 250,000 somewhere. At peak, yeah. at, at, what, what is it now? Oh, it can vary. Yeah. It can vary. It's well over six figures, though. Well over six figures. Yeah. And, and do you print them all? You're, like, you, you're in control of the print. And then you and distribute you them type thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not far. I think it, doesn't go, through, it doesn't go through shops or anything like that. Well, it's, it's not like you've got lots of different printers. It's like you. Right, it's, you one, it's one yeah, printer yeah, yeah. and then, yeah, 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 and then yeah, it gets yeah. distributed. Yeah. For uh, how many different warehouses? Thirty different uh, hubs or warehouses all over the country, and people get from get from there. So it's self-organised. Nobody organised. I didn't, I didn't get back. Like, you 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 performed that. You know what I mean? It was just we're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna do a paper, and everyone just it, went. It? I don't want to forget that number. Yeah, right down. Just, just lastly, as well, with, with the kind of ecosystem, did it start with the paper and then become like the, you know the um, gigs and the festival, or was it? The it's all kind of tied up, isn't yeah. it? Um, I think the, the, the parallel, yeah. the yeah, co things, things coincidental things are sort of, par yeah, parallel um, something progressions. And, and obviously different people do different things. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, 30. Yeah, 30 hubs. And you said six. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of noticed that. It's almost like protest <laughs> movements. <laughs> read the light and then kind of like so everything feeds off each other a bit and then you guys organize like rallies or organize um um as in not you guys but as in the groups themselves and, and yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 each I, I know a lot of people that yeah. have nothing to do with the movement but mm -hmm. they love the paper yeah Right, because yeah. they love an alternative, yeah, so that's too, an alternative yeah. news we get a lot yeah. of emails. and to make their own judgments what Daz has been saying the whole time yeah. you know the the whole point of it is for people to be given different sources of information so they can go and find out the facts, mm. the true facts, or as far as the truth as you can get, or near as you can get. Because yeah. let's face it, truth is very difficult to get to these days, you know? Yeah, so, but the yeah, so it's interesting the people who are the readers, yeah, like you've got the readers who are actually part of these movements and do go on marches, and then you've got the people who read it, who just kind of read it at home, like you say, who wouldn't necessarily... They, they get it, they get yeah. they, 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 uh, One thing we didn't cover, that the, 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 the difference now and this is feedback from obviously distributors mm -hmm. in how the paper is accepted, how the paper is received compared to two years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's 90 days, like it was 90% rejection, now it's now it's 90% acceptance. Now people come into the takeaways and whatever, have you got any more of yeah. the latest yeah. one? People look forward to it. Yeah. So it's really nice to, to be doing something that people actually want. And this is not, hopefully, you know, it's quite clear whether you portray it that way, that this is not some, uh, well, it's not a one-man organisation directing everything because it, it couldn't happen in the truth movement. We're too into independence of freedom anyway. Mm -hmm. If I tried to start start dictating things, it would just go go and work for the go and work for the, go and work for the BBC. <laughs> well, yeah, you know what I mean. It really is. It's incredible to me how um, this 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 thing exists through 
a kind of just loose self-organisation. Yeah. There's no nobody gets fired for not doing their job. They just okay, you don't want to do that. Well, that's fine. Somebody else is doing it. Whenever I do the whenever I do these kind of interviews, I always think that it would actually be a really positive and beneficial thing sometimes for like people to like spend the day with me at work or to like see how the BBC works because people don't actually like get to like come in and see like how it works or what a meeting's like or how people I don't know I just always think it's important for people to kind of understand like the process and how it works mm. um, but anyway yeah thank you I really appreciate your time no problem Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Emma. Emma. Good to meet you. Hi, Andy. Thanks. Olivia. Yes. Thanks so much. Thank you for doing the talk. Where are you? Just kind of like South, basically. South, basically. South. Very much. And Timpoli. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh. So I'm telling Olivia about Phil has been raining yeah. behind the hood yeah. the entire time we're here. It's the biggest fan. Oh, God, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's get some yeah. stuff in the car. Yeah, have a nice lunch. Oh, well, we will. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Have you don't miss the train? Me too. Yes. I think so, yeah. That's quite good. Stitch him up royally. They're gonna stitch him up royally. I was watching. They had one camera right in on his face, getting every single expression. You know. I know they work. It, if if you it went well, when you look at it as a whole. But there, it's not going to be shown as a whole. That's why I said they're going to show balance, and they're not. They're going to stitch him up royally. I tell you. What do you think? <coughs> The only way to do that is literally chopping and editing it. That's what they're going to do. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. From the, from the question, I think you were going to present it as the light paper has incited violence. No, I think the thing that I'm interested in, which I was asking, is, um, you know, there are, I mean, I don't want to repeat the interview again, um, but obviously we've talked about a whole range of different things. Mm. So, you know, we're not just going to focus on one one particular thing. We'll focus on various things that we, that we chatted about. Okay. Her name is Mariana Spring Shilling for cash is her thing In disinformation she finds inspiration Her eyes light up and go ka I didn't write the words to this by the way It's a limerick found on YouTube But let's do it again Her name is Mariana Spring Shilling for cash is her thing in disinformation, she finds inspiration. Her eyes light up and go ka ching ching. Hang on a minute, so are you telling these people liars? I have never ever said that those people are liars.